All right, good morning. And when I say good morning, I mean that literally as it's about 6.30 a.m. here in Jersey. Figured I'd make a small video on a detail I'm doing to my personal vehicle. I recently took delivery of a 2011 Dodge Durango RT. I was really in uh, decent shape. I was rather surprised. I actually went to look at the vehicle to find something wrong with it so I wouldn't buy it. Unfortunately, to the checkbook chagrin, here it is in the driveway. I apologize for the video. Like I said, it's really early and the sun is just coming out. But, uh, plan on doing a full correction to it. And I'm going to be using new products from AmmoNYC.com developed by Mr. Larry Casilla. I hope I'm saying that name right. He's come out with a line of products I think are very interesting. He also does a lot of video here on YouTube um, with relation to his products as well as detailing tips and tricks. He's a very down-to-earth guy awesome detailer does some of the most outrageous vehicles I think I've ever seen um, but he's friendly to his customers he's always willing to to help lend a hand answer emails but here's his line of products if you haven't seen them it's the ammo line and again that's ammo nyc.com and he makes regimens he makes specific regimens I should say for different parts of the vehicle, whether it be your wheels and tires, paint, interior, and his methodology is that the paint in your vehicle is like the skin on your body, and it needs to be protected in layers. So his line of products work together in conjunction with one another to provide probably the best protection and shine I've seen. I've yet to give him a try. Um, so we have a wheel regimen here, and we have a paint regimen. So what I plan on doing is giving it a wash, clay, and I'm going to use the uh, Meg's DA microfiber correction, uh, just a compound, because I want to use Larry's ammo skin. Alright, so I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'll probably do it anyway. Uh, so I don't catch any flack from it from you guys. Uh, so what we have is the ammo plum wheel cleaner uh, and a moderately dirty wheel. Now if you read the directions and, and even Larry will tell you for sake of saving product you only want to use the plum wheel cleaner on moderately dirty rims or uh, really dirty rims because he's teamed it up with Brute Wheel Soap. His wheel soap is uh, not something for the paint at all. It's a much more uh, aggressive soap meant for the wheels. Now I did have the opportunity to try these on my old Durango, these two, and I, and I gotta tell you I was very impressed. The soap in and of itself did take off the mild brake dust. Um, I did use the plum wheel cleaner on one rim, however the results with the soap were just about the same. I guess it's because my rims were never that dirty, but uh, you can see inside the rim there is quite a bit of brake dust. So we'll give it a shot. <laughs> now what I've noticed in these rims, aside from my other ones on the other Durango, is you seem a bit darker. I don't know if that's just the way it is, or but we'll uh, check and see. So basically, I hope you all got you, you have your own wheel and undercarriage bucket. If you don't need to get it, you don't want to cross-contaminate what you're pulling off the rims and undercarriage with paint and the body. 
so the directions for the wheel soap are, uh, let me see if I get this right, it's either three blubs or three glugs, I'm not quite sure, but basically three good sized droplets I find is relatively decent, and you fill your bucket up three quarters of the way with uh, water, and away you go. So, for the sake of demo, I'm going to take the plumb wheel cleaner, and he says, not a lot. He says, a little goes a long way, and I believe him. So we'll just shoot it. A couple good sprays. I just want to make sure I get behind the spokes. I think that's about it. That's all I'm going to do. And we're going to let that dwell for a little bit. Shot, but I like how it clings. It foams. You can see it going to work. If you do have a good amount of brake dust, I've seen in some other videos this actually turns a plum purple. Um, as you can see here it's really not. The outside of the rooms were pretty decent. But. So you let that dwell for a little bit and I guess go after this with the arsenal of stuff you have. I'm not wearing rubber gloves, I should be, but um, the smell of the products I gotta tell you uh, it's pretty outrageous. You get a lot of these products that smell awful. Larry's smell pretty good. I don't know where he came up with the smell, but it's nice. It's a good change, especially when you're sitting in front of this stuff for an hour. Now, I work from the top. I go down from the inside to the outside only because I don't want to waste the product that's up here. Just let it gravity work its magic. Let it pull the rest of the product down to the base of the rim. I don't know if you can see back there, the sun's on the other side again. I apologize, it's still pretty early. But uh, really get back there and give it a good scrub. I do have a bigger easy brush too, but for the sake of, like I said, I've never done a YouTube video, so for the sake of doing everything together here, I'm just going to use a small one for now, but I think you guys will get the idea. So that's done. I'm going to use a really soft brush, and because there's so much surface area right now, I'm just going to hit the outside with a long handle brush. for the shoddy camera work through the end. And then to get into the smaller spaces here. I have a blood brush. And really get into all the smaller spots. guys make these videos, uh, especially when you're holding this phone or camera, because it's a pain, it really is, but I haven't seen many, I haven't seen, we got some tar there, um, I haven't seen many videos on Larry's products of somebody actually using them other than Larry, and he's been catching some heat for that, and we'll come back to that some tar on the rim, but I'll get that in a second. So, as I was saying, Larry's been catching some heat. And of course, everybody's skeptical, but here. Now, I'm not going to do the tire right now. I'm just going to show you guys the rim itself. So, I figured I'd make a video and show you somebody actually using this product. I'm in no way related to Larry. 
or his company. I'm merely a customer. And here we go. It's so pretty decent. Really decent. In fact, like I said, I wish you guys could see behind, but I did have my finger back there before. Go on. Squeaky clean. Beautiful. So that's the wheel cleaner. Uh, hope that helped a little bit. And there you go. All right, another update. So I gave it a wash, followed up by a uh, clay. I used a gentle fine clay. I wanted to get whatever finish they had on there off. Uh, looked like the dealership would use some sort of spray wax. It was a volume dealership, so I, I guess I can't blame them if they're doing what they were told. But I wanted to get that off. So I used a single bucket method today. I did have the grit guard in. Uh, used a grout sponge and Dawn soap did a phenomenal job and after the clay you really see that metallic fleck pop now so sun's out on this side this is what happens now here's the hood and I don't know if you can catch some of the Wicked holograms in there. I don't mind the leftover from the clanging, but there's definitely uh, holograms, which is why I think I'm going to go with the microfiber cutting pad and compound. I think it's just good practice anyway for a first time. New car prep. So, we're making progress. Durango's are large. A lot of area, but we're trucking through. So I figured I'd just give you that. All right, I'll see you at the next one. So here it is, ammo, skin defense coat. <clears throat> uh, directions are on the back. Probably a little bit blurry, sorry. Basically, we're going to put this on like we would any other polymer. Um, however, instead of circles, we're going to use lines. I've used lines probably forever anyway, but um, it's recommended that we do lines. It's going to go on, apparently, it's uh, pretty thick, pretty sticky. Set. Now, the directions I do believe say one to three minutes. So that'd basically be about a panel at a time. But uh, listening to Larry, the uh, creator himself, he actually leaves this at some, in some instances overnight. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, interior storage for the vehicle, so I'm probably going to put it all on, let it sit. But the longer it sits, the better adhesion you're going to get to the paint, which is what I'm going for. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give that a try. Once I get it all applied, I'll show you, and uh, we'll see how it is to get off, because apparently uh, that could be a little tough the longer it sits. But it's worth the wait, worth the work. We're already 10 hours plus into this, so uh, we'll let it ride. All right. All right, so long day it has been. However, the ammo skin is applied, and uh, overall, you could say I'm quite pleased. Uh, it did come off a little tough, 
but that was to be expected. It definitely was not like a, uh, a carnauba wax. I let it bake on there, and in all fairness to the product, it was sitting in the sun. Uh, there's a good shot. You can actually see my wife's car parked along the curb. <clears throat> but uh, again, beautiful smell. Here I am. Unfortunately, the sun's really not out anymore. I'm kind of doing this under the shade of a tree, but here, checking out the depth. Me, I will uh, attempt to help you out with this. <laughs> so. That's a Brinkman. Two lights, one light. Pretty good. Get you closer, maybe you can see. The metallic. Great products, I like them. Uh, I do have some more to use, and uh, as I use them, I will try to make some video and uh, get it up there for you. I think the next thing I'm going to do now is the uh, ammo mud, which is uh, tire dressing from ammo. And uh, that'll be it. But, uh, looks good. I'm happy. I'm happy with the products. It's been a long day, but uh, you know, it's definitely worth the effort if you love your car as much as I do. And you love to drive it and keep it clean. Is it a ways to go? So again, thank you for watching. Like I said, it's been a it's been a heck of a day. And the results are are pretty amazing. I'm I'm very pleased, very happy, and we'll see how long the durability is. I know people are gonna wonder how durable it is and how long it lasts. And uh, if anyone does ask, I'll I'll keep you posted, keep you updated you know, as best I can. All right, that's it for me for tonight. I'm gonna go put some aloe vera on because uh, I'm burnt. Have a good night.